Hi, welcome to part six of my zombie infection movies. The first film I'm going to start with is Flight of the Living Dead, Outbreak on a Plane. And this is about a scientist that's on the run from the CIA and he manages to smuggle a body onto a passenger plane. The body is obviously contaminated and comes alive and starts infecting others on the on the fly. It turns the passengers into zombies and there's a group of passengers towards the end fighting off the zombie horde and that's about it about the film. It's a very fun film this. Um, that's all I can really say about it. There's some great zombie special makeup effects. If I turn so if you can probably get to see the zombie in this corner here who looks very good, he's one of the best looking zombies in the film and yeah it's just a fun film, I suggest if you haven't checked this one out definitely check it out, it's very good fun the next one is David Cronenberg's Shivers and this is about an high rise apartment building and there's an effect, infection running through the high rise apartment building and when people get it, it turns them crazy and they turn violent. It's very similar to the crazies but it's situated in a high rise apartment block. This is typical David Cronenberg stuff. It's very similar in the way how it's shot and the direction of it. In It's very similar to the other film, Rabid what I showed in an earlier update I'll show you the back shows you a guy with blood all over him eating some kind of animal or part of a person can't really tell and this was brought out in 1975 this is a good film check it out if you like Rabid then I suggest you definitely check out Shivers This film I didn't expect much from but was pleasantly surprised. It's Mulberry Street and this is about a rat infestation and in, in an apartment building and the rats have got some sort of disease and when they bite or come into human contact it infects the humans and the humans turn into like rat-like zombies. I know it sounds a little silly but this is a great horror film and anybody that hasn't seen this I suggest definitely check it out. There's some great zombie like creatures in this and let's show you the back of it. I know you can't really see much but there's one of the infected. It looks like a rat with the big teeth. Yeah this is a great film. It's from the After Dark Horror Fest 8 films to die for. So yeah check this one out. Now this next film I don't really know much about. I know that it's a low budget zombie film and it's called Dawn of the Living Dead. Not to be confused with George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Um, it's a low budget one that came out in 2005. I can't really tell you much about this. It says that it stars Todd Bridges and Amanda Bauman. I don't really know who they are. Um, I'll show you the back. Very ugly zombie girl there. It looks quite good. Shows you some zombies munching on the person there. Another zombie there. Yeah, um, I can't really tell you to check this one out because I haven't really seen it. But if you want it to your collection, then get it. If not, just decide. This next one is Dawn of the Dead 2 Contagium and when I saw this I bought it straight away not really thinking that if it was going to be a good Day of the Dead 2 it had been out on the cinemas or it had had George A. Romero's name to it I was a bit silly I'd not recommend this at all it's, it's horrible really um, and it's made by the two people that made Creepshow 3 which also is a bag of rubbish. Um, this is about a mental hospital 
and some sort of infection goes through the mental hospital, turning the mental patients and the doctors into zombies. That's all I can really say about this one. I'll show you the back. The zombie. Another zombie eating somebody. Some zombies behind a fence. Yeah, I can't really say much about this one. All I can say is, don't check it out. <laughs> This next one's another Shaun of the Dead ripoff. It's called Dead Moon Rising. This is a low budget zombie film. It's a zombie comedy film and it's about this guy here works for a car rental place and there's a mysterious virus that kills the planet off turning everybody into the undead and this guy on the front cover with the machine gun has to gather the remaining few people who he knows and some kind of biker gang from Louisville to fight off the zombies. It says that this is the largest zombie fil scene ever filmed in this film and it also won awards for Best Feature at Cinefest 2007 and it won Best Zombie Film at the Silver Screen Awards. I'll show you the back. Two good looking zombies there. If you like Shaun of the Dead then check it out. It's not got a, as big a budget as Shaun of the Dead so some of the some of the um, scenes are done with CGI and it's it's poor. But if you like that type of film then check it out. This next one is a Spanish horror film called Return of the Evil Dead and it's a film by Armando Diosorio and it's part of the Blind Dead collection. This is about some Templar knights that get killed by vigilante, medieval vigilantes and on the 500th anniversary of their deaths they come right from their graves to wreak revenge. I haven't really seen this film, um, it's released by Anchor Bay but it's part of the Blind Dead collection and a lot of people consider this a classic. I'll show you the back. It's in Spanish Spanish with English subtitles. And that's all I can really tell you about this one. This next one is called Insanitarium. And it stars Jesse Metcalf from, let me think, Desperate Housewives and Peter Stormare and this is about a mental hospital and this guy's sister gets put into the mental hospital so he acts mental to get put in there with her to save her and he finds out that the doctors are doing all sorts of experiments on some of the patients and turning them into like zombie like rage people. They're not really zombies but they're in the same vein of 28 days later. This is a low budget one as well um, it's not bad. It's typical in inside a mental asylum doing experiments. Same type of stuff as what you've seen before. Show you the back. Just a picture of Jesse Metcalf and him fighting one of the cannibals there. Yeah, it's not bad but not brilliant. This next film is called The Vanguard and this is a British zombie film and this is about a global war that's happened and lots of people have died off and there's some some zombies running, left running about. They've obviously been infected by something and there's groups of like vigilante type militia groups chasing after this guy here wanting him dead and also the zombies are trying to get him as well so he's like fighting on two fronts against like militia and the zombies. I did a, I, I was looking forward to this film when I heard that it was coming out but when I saw it I didn't really like it. The zombie like creatures run like monkeys do. They like drag the knuckles on the ground as you know like the chimpanzee runs so I didn't really like that. 
but it got an official selection by Dead by Dawn 2008 in Scotland and another official selection from another hole in there 2008 that's a I think that's a film festival in the USA I'll show you the back there's a picture of one of the zombies I don't think you can see another picture that looks real like 28 days later one of them zombies in that yeah, that's all I can really tell you about this one. Look out for part seven.